How's it going, Welcome back to our Pokemon White 2 series. And if you're wondering why there's another gym badge, it's because when I after I recorded the last episode, uh, the raw footage file actually corrupted, which meant when I went to edit it, I couldn't. So, but I I had already saved and I didn't have a backup. So that's why we're stood here in Lentimus Town. All that really happened was we beat the gym. It wasn't that, that tricky. We didn't lose that much damage. They, we didn't actually take get anywhere near losing them on. Pretty kind of simple. Um, changes that you would have missed. We brought Zoroark on Zoroark. And we brought in uh, Scizor. And then we got on the plane and arrived in Lentimus Town, which is where we'll be heading to. In, and we're probably heading to Undella, bit, Undella Town in this episode. Obviously, after claiming our reversal mountain encounter from the outside. An Anarinth. Probably. Probably not gonna take that then. Which means we could actually run back and get some. Um, which means I'm actually gonna run back, given that that counts as reverse, the reversal town. I'm gonna get some uh, max repels, so we can get through reverse maintain a bit quicker, so we're not like two steps. But yeah, it was kind of frustrating, but I, I had already saved by the time I realised, which meant that I really, there was really nothing much I could actually have done. But we didn't take that. We, we didn't. We didn't get anywhere near losing. We also did find a cover fossil uh, on the runway. Oh, this is this is this a strange house? It is. There's no encounter in here because it's a weird new encounter table. I assume we have to go downstairs to... Ooh, Ren's Octoblade. Oh wait, we have a we have a repel and that's why we're not finding, finding any iron. How are we going to get to that chair though? That, that item there now? No, because I want to clear my account now. Our encounter in the strange house is... Pidgey. We'll take our total to three different flying types with three different generations. So I'd say yeah. Throwing a ball. <laughs> Did my meme. Throwing a master ball. <laughs> nah, we'll be able to get away with throwing an ultra ball. It's only, it's only a Pidgey. Pidgey was caught. Got, I'm gonna go with Striker. Just because it's a nice name. Obviously, gotta go uppercase for the start of it. Gonna spell it a Y, but I don't know why I, I can't remember. But now we will. Um, Obviously we don't have it, um, obviously we will um, re reapply a um, max repel. I wonder why we're getting an encounter up, so like, wait, oh yeah, oh, okay. It's called because we um, had a max repel on, and obviously max repel uh, repels all encounters. I think they're the main two encounters we can get because we've already claimed, we've already uh, technically claimed our reversal mountain encounter. Ooh, we've got two static encounters though. And if you know where the uh, fossil reviver is, feel free to let me know in the comments because I 
don't quite know where it is in this game. Oh, it's Bianca. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna claim, I'm gonna claim the items if I see them. Yes. We only buy. F we only have two more, so. Don't really want to fight every chain though. Oh, I ran in front of her. Whoops. Don't want to fight every chain. <laughs> just, just, just run in front of one then. Sand slash. Ground. It's just ground type. Um. I think Zoroark is speed. Zoroark Buffet takes 8 damage away. It then uses EQ, which might be powered up in the Sandstorm. We are faster, but that, that, that earthquake hurt. Level 50. Switch into Azelf. Okay, we'll switch into Shocker because it had a crunch. Where are that? <laughs> I mean, Earthquake, Earthquake, just so much damage. It's, it's, part, it's definitely Psychic. I can't think of its second type. In. It's nasty plotting though. We get the defense drop. We both buff it from the. And then you just reach like, which shouldn't work because so this is the last one, right? Logically. Yeah. Oh, a rat, a raw sparrow. Shun just to go from here, into here. Probably. Makes sense for it to be heat run. Just running into more trainers, but oh, it's oh, it's what style of battle is this? Um, I just uh, it's just. Uh, Uh, we don't really have anything that can be super effective against it. This is super effective because that's psychic, right? No. Is that psychic? No, bronze is just steel, innit? It bronze on becomes part psychic. Remember rightly. Switches back. Power play rotates right into Luxio. This should be this isn't be very effective because Luxio's cool. Wait, is it looks right? This electric dark. Don't know my typings very well, do I? Like shield on is just thick man. It uses endure. It's not gonna do anything though. Night Slash may finish off the Bronze Orb. 
does. Who does it rotate to? It rotates back to... Okay then, we're gonna rotate that way. And use air slash. We're equally gonna rotate. <laughs> I've got the flinch, and then I go for, go for the Zen headbutt. <laughs> we managed to get back to back flinches. We managed to get back to back flinches, we meaning. Guaranteed there'll be a time where I need to get a flinch, and I won't get the flinch. Like, no, when you, you know, I need the flinch, and it's like, nah. So is the case of Pokemon. When you don't need it, you get the flinch. But when you do need it, it's not going to come your come your way. Uh, we may as well just use confusion. You, it lands it. It, it did zero damage because it's it's already on one HP. And we get a crit on a one on a one HP. We get a crit confusion. Oh, it's still fun. Uh, I want to say we have to go, we have to go north, but I'm gonna go back this way because there's stairs down. Oh, there is literally, there is literally nothing down here. Damn it! Round two, round, round one. Took one too many steps. Which means you've got a mission like that logically means you've got gone off or we go right. A herdier. I'm assuming we get that whole um like shine thing out of it because um, because it's N Zoroark, I assume. And a Cubo. You no, know what? We'll switch to Cannon because Water Pulse, I think. Yeah, Water Pulse. Haven't tried Surf yet. That that probably be necess necessity. You can just imagine Buster using water pulse at the cannon. It just goes out of, it, out of its cannons on its, on, it, on, it, on, it, on its back. Okay, I don't want a, ro a, a raspberry. No way. Okay, we'll venture back down and to the right. And if this is a dead end, um. Yeah, we have to go. We have, we have to go north. May as well go north this way. That's my last repel as well. It's gonna be a double battle. Yeah. There's two each, Pelipper and a Wismicar. Which is grass and water flying. So I'm gonna switch to Shocker. Cause Pelipper can't have a grand move. Wismicar, I'm not too certain on it. Might have one. But we should be fine. What do you even have a hand for? And it's gonna damage her uh, her mon as well, but we're just gonna use we're just gonna use discharge because Hurricane's flying type right. Her Hurricane should be a flying type move. Easy stockpile.
We got chick. Quite right that the only one that we get the um The only one that we get the paralyzed on is the one that is our teammate essentially. It's like it's no confused. Quite gonna use sword stance. I think that might Okay, I think given that we may as well go for another Yeah, given that that's gonna die anyway, we may as well go for another discharge to try and do um doesn't affect Glasgow because Glass yeah, Glasgow's quite burned enough. And her other ones are relic health. Which is grain type, so Discharge doesn't affect it, but if Discharge doesn't affect um, Gliscor, we might might need to start targeting the Gliscor now, given that you just sky got on me. That was painful by Gliscor. Switch to. Oh, one of them's got shadow tag. Um, I assume one of them has shadow tag, given that I'm unable to switch out. So we're gonna have to heal. I think we might have to lose Shocker here, you know. Unless... No, I, I can't switch out. I think that's purely because of... I think, there's a, I think there's an arena trap. I think there's an arena trap in play. Whether that's from Glasgow or Gabite. They double tight, they double tight in me. That's annoying, but we, we lose Shocker. That, that, see, that's annoying, but there's nothing I could have done about it. I couldn't switch, and I was always going to get double. I reckon I was always going to get double targeted by the. Um, by, by both Gabite, especially when Gabite uses Dig. Oh damn it, I used Dig again, which means it throws away on the ground, which means my, my Aura Beam misses. We did find the TM for Ice Beam, but Glyscore's no asleep. Predicting that Gabite is fast, because Gabite, oh, oh come on, the only, the only time Gabite's not faster than me. Oh, wait, Tailwind meant it was faster the other times. Pampers at the Evolution? No, it's... The Base evolution, are you being serious? Glasgow's still asleep, so we'll get the Aurora Beam off on Gabite, which is quad effective because it's ice and it's dragon ground, so it's quad effective. Pampo uses Brine against the Glasgow, which is super effective, for his credit, and then we'll, we'll ice beam the, Gla ice beam the Glasgow. Well, also, or, or, or in, sorry, because I haven't taught Ice Beam yet. Super effective. So yeah, sadly we have lost them on there, but... I think with a rain shot there isn't... I think that falls under... There is, there is little to nothing I could have done. Okay, well, we're in Undertone now. Okay, let's pop on Sensor.
Right, we it's the Pokemon Center. So, we are gonna have to switch out and take uh, Shocker off the layout. And the model will replace it with Aldecide in between this one and the next one. So it goes into the Tetra Depot with uh, Looper, Hydra, and no Shocker. But there's nothing much I could have done about that. Mishimishi all told us after that, last, after that last fight anyway. Yeah. But that'll be of course where we end today's episode. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya!